start off with just a loop that kind of went and then we kind of added some some sounds and then that's how Modestep happened. <laughs> <laughs> so Modestep started a couple of years ago. Um, me and Tony have been producing kind of different genres for a long time. We kind of fell in love with the, the whole dubstep sound. Um, yeah, we started incorporating it into kind of the other genres that we were producing. Um, and then, yeah, we started a, a radio show kind of showcasing all, all new dubstep talent and loads of different producers and DJs and stuff. Started to get a little bit popular. Um, and we wanted to kind of take it that next step further by kind of combining everything we'd done previously in music and, and making our own kind of dubstep sound and then get other guys involved to, to make it live. <laughs> Josh Modestep, uh, he is the keys player and the front man slash lead singer for Modestep. Josh um, and me have been producing the Modestep records for a couple of years now. He's an absolute whiz kid. He's, he n seems to know how to run every program in the world. He's a good laugh. He's always, you know, if we're going back and we're all hungover, he's always, you know, making everybody laugh, trying to get into tiny little hovels and cupboards in the van. And uh... Josh also plays keys live, uh, sings live, um, and yeah, like we, we write all the songs together. I find him a bit uh, like a monkey. <laughs> you, you give him a little sweet, and he gets very happy. <laughs> Josh writes all the hooks as well, so um, yeah, I think he's got a great voice and really, really, a, a, you know, an outstanding part of mode step that makes us shine. And an all-round great frontman as well. I think he really gets the crowd going, um, knows how to control the crowd, which is really important. And uh, yeah, I think it all, all works really well together. Tony is my brother. We came from the same mother and father, which means we're brothers. Tony is uh, the resident DJ at Mode Step, and he's also the producer. He helps Josh write all the songs. Uh, and once again, he's just a bit of a madman on stage. He gets, you know, gets people riled up and uh, going mental. <laughs> He, keep, he keeps telling me he uh, kills people when he's drunk. I don't know how to take that. You know, we, we like our Jägermeister a lot, so we, uh, we get into a lot of trouble. Um, he, yeah, I mean, we've been producing separately, actually. We never really produced together and decided to kind of collaborate on this project. I do the music and the brains. He does... Tony? What is it, Tony, what is it you do again? What is it you do? He presses play. I lived with Matt um, for three painstaking years at university. Um, yeah, we basically uh, shared a house with a few other guys, spent three years getting absolutely trashed. Um, he's a pretty good drummer, so I said, will you do the drumming on Mode Step? And yeah, he really loves the project, so he got involved. Yeah, like we, we got him involved and uh, I think he's really brings a lot of energy to our live shows. He's really good live. You can actually imagine him in the Argos catalogue and you could buy Matt Curtis from uh, Mostep. And I'm, I don't have the clue what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, just fun to be around and uh, sick drama as well, man. Nick um, is recent. He's a recent addition to the group. Um, we wanted a Chinese guy, that was important. That was the most important thing. Obviously we've just started to get to know him, but he's just fit in so quickly with the band and he's a really good laugh. Um, you know, goes a bit mental sometimes and um, drinks with us and parties hard. So he's fitting in really well and I think he's, you know, he's just a lovely bloke. Yeah, I think he's enjoying it, playing to kind of big crowds and people kind of punching them each other in the face. I don't think he, he was really expecting that. Nick got on board with us. Uh, he's only been on board with us for about a month. Um, but yeah, he used to session for a lot of people. Um, and uh, we were held auditions for guitarists. And there were a lot of people that came and tried out to be our guitarist. And uh, Nick just really just stood out, man. He was just absolutely unbelievable. Uh, we played him to the stars and he just 
shredded all over it and we were just gobsmacked and we really wanted to get him on board. Mode step, summer of mode step 2011. We are looking forward to playing all our festival shows this year. We're just going to uh, go out and play our full live show for the very first time for everyone. Um, have fun over this summer, try and write our album, get a few singles out there as well. And uh, yeah, just pretty much rave it up. Try and be quite sensible on the way there as well, I think. Yeah, so. yeah.